So as we do this series, there are going to be some challenges. And today was definitely one of those challenges. Uh, I just put up a round so poor in my estimation that <laughs> I just, I literally don't quite know what to think. And coming off the PA Open, I had a lot to learn about myself. And between then and today's tournament, not a lot of time, basically no practice, got one round of golf in. And uh, it's just added to, it's added to the woe of the VA Open. And it's added to the idea that I need to do some fund make some fundamental changes in order to be competitive the way I want to be competitive. We played a golf course today called Regent's Glen in York, which is a fantastic golf course, country club. So don't get to play here very often. Um, my friend Anthony is head pro, so I could probably play here more than I do. But, um, you know, just a really a great track, but it's short. It's pretty easy. Um, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's right off the bat when you go, hey, this golf course is pretty easy. Um, maybe you set yourself up for, for disaster. Um, the problem for me right now is that I know I'm not very good and there's just not a whole lot I can do about it. I'm not making any putts. I mean, this has been, this has been going on now for way too long. I mean, I'm pushing year and a half on making no putts and I don't know quite what's going on there. Why can't seem to keep the face squared up and it's not a one way miss. It's two way miss. Um, I used three different putting grips out there today. Kudos to me for not switching putters. Um, because you know, as a professional, it can't possibly mean it's always got to be the equipment. I have a lot going on in my head and I have a lot going on as I'm standing over the golf ball, which is probably the worst of it. Um, you know, when I was a touring professional, there was never really any chatter. It was, there's the ball, there's the hole. How do I want to make it go there? And put a swing on it. And it, now I'm, do I have the right club? Am I going to hit it long? It's always my biggest fear for some reason is going long. So subsequently I take too little club, I swing too hard and I come up short. You would think I would learn. Um, I really hope you're getting out of this that a guy that plays professional events is truly no different from anybody else. I mean, the struggles are 100% real for everybody. Every single player in this game is a work in progress. I got to figure out where to start. And I know it isn't starting inside. Working on TrackMan is awesome. No doubt about it. But indoors, in terms of golf swing development, I struggle with it. Teaching on TrackMan is awesome because you can cover all the things that need to be covered for somebody that's struggling, you know, face angle path face to path you know launch angle all those things are, are dynamics that are made a whole lot easier when you can give them quantitative numbers but for me it's i can't see indoors really how much my ball is turning if it's turning i might be able to see why it's not turning I just want to erase 2020 and start fresh. Like I'll be 50 next year. I can play in senior events, I can play senior divisions. I can double dip. And I just want to take this year, which has been bizarre. And for as small as it's been, it's been a heck of a grind. 
grind without grinding is that possible can i can i have can i say it's been a grind even though i really haven't been grinding maybe that's a problem too maybe it's i think i'm grinding i'm not <laughs> my gears are grinding i don't to make five bogeys on this golf course i mean It's just weak. It's just weak. Not happy with it. So we will go back to the grind or <laughs> go to the grind and try to make something else happen. And that's what this whole thing's about. It's about trying to figure out how to get what needs to happen to happen to be competitive and to be the golfer that I know I can be. It's all been downhill since I won the PA Open two years ago. Why should that have been the pinnacle? That shouldn't have been the pinnacle. Like, it was everything I was working for. Absolutely. But to have to, to get there and then just be like, wasn't isn't any good. That's not what this was all about. This was getting to a point and then trying to push through that point and trying to get to where I can be competitive with the best players, at least senior players uh, out there, which I still think I can do. I absolutely still think I can do it, but I got to pull the head out of the dark recesses in which it's currently dwelling and I've got to start being more consistent. So let's see, do I have my scorecard on me or did I leave it in the trunk? Left it in the trunk. Okay, well, we're not gonna go through the round, I don't think. Um, it wasn't that pretty anyway. Um, a lot of putts, definitely a lot of putts. I had a, hit a ball out of bounds, <laughs> totally lost the grip, like almost ended. In the <laughs> I barely held onto it. Like club practically came flying out of my hands. So it went dead right out of bounds, um, on a drivable par four even. And so I switched to a three wood and knocked it on the green. And initially I had thought from the very beginning, should probably hit three wood here. Laser said it was 289 to the pin. And the other two guys in my group who are actually longer than I am, not surprising, um, younger too, um, they both hit driver. So I thought, well, I gotta, I gotta hit driver. So I made bogey, you know, after with a ball out of bounds. It's a pretty good recovery overall. Good days and bad days. This was a bad day. Life will go on. Nobody got hurt. And I'll probably go out and do what I did last time, which is just go out and go play golf and shoot 66. Who knows? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening. It's been interesting. Um, I'll hit you with another one of these uh, when I've got a little something going on, hopefully from the driving range. You know, I'm going to cover a lot of stuff through, through this process, practice routines, Mental coaching. <laughs> Maybe I need you guys to mentally coach me. I don't know. Um, drills. All that stuff. So, thanks for hanging out. See you all soon.